Oh, hey. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed episode one with uh, I'm Worried, which is a really great book. And in the second episode, we're going to read another special one that I think is also appropriate for these um, unprecedented times that we're in. So if you don't know what the word unprecedented means, ask your mom and dad. Story, story, story time with Bill. All right, everybody. If you haven't yet, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And also leave us a comment. Let us know what you want to read next time, okay? We'll try to get that in our uh, library for you. So, this episode, episode two, we're going to read a new book that my kids love that we've had for a long time. The book's had a lot of love on it, so it's a little beat up, but it's one that our kids love. So, Bruce, my son, is going to bring it out to me. Bruce, can you bring out the book for me? Thanks, buddy. All right. What's this one called? The Adventures of Beagle. The Adventures of Beagle. That's right. This one all about imagination and making friends. Bruce, you want to say hi to everybody on the camera? Hello. <laughs> all right. Go have a seat and we'll read together, okay? So this one's called The Adventures of Beagle, The Unimaginary Friend. Written and illustrated by Dan Santet, who's a great author and illustrator. The Adventures of Beagle. The Unimaginary Friend. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly awaiting to be imagined by a real child. Every night he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights. But his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on. Until he reached the real world. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music. And everyone needed nap time. Then he finally saw something familiar. So he followed. He had a good feeling about this place. But he looked everywhere, and he couldn't find his friend. He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he'd waited, and he felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello? Huh. 
Her face was friendly and familiar, and there was something about her that felt just right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before. But, after a little while... <laughs> Alice. They realized... Hmm? Beagle. They were perfect together. I'm Beagle. Hi, Beagle. Beagle and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks. They told funny jokes. The world began to feel a little less strange. And together, they did the unimaginable. The end. Now that is a pretty inspiring book. Bruce, do you want to come out and talk with me about it? <laughs> you like that one too? Yeah. Yeah, what do you like about Beagle? He never gives up, and he keeps on going. That's right. That's a good lesson to learn, right? So, whenever you feel like you can't do it anymore, if you feel like things are too hard, just remember to keep on going. Never give up. Especially now. Okay? That's a really good lesson to learn, right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty cool book. And it's got some pretty cool illustrations. I like the artwork. Dan Santat's a pretty great uh, author and illustrator. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment, let us know what you want to read next time, okay? For myself, Bill, and Bruce, you want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> bye, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks for reading. All right. Good job, buddy. Um, you could play outside in the backyard or front yard. You could ask your parents to play ball or or swing on the swing if you have a swing. Oh, so if you're in kindergarten or up then you could read to your parents um, if you want to like, write or color or do anything like that. Then just get some ideas, think, and then do, your, do what, try to do what you think. If it doesn't turn out great, then that's okay.